all right so this is eq psychiatry uh, an mcq i have picked up uh, integrated with toxicology and pharmacology and the more important theme relatively emergency medicine uh, this is one mcq through which we'll understand one very important concept let's see a patient with depression presented with altered mental status from ingesting multiple toxic substances now understand that this presentation is altered mental status so confusion disorientation okay multiple toxic substances so we do not know what the patient might have taken you know for certain that he took lorazepam only today for the first time we found some strip and uh, it is found uh, for that it is confirmed that it, uh, the patient took lorazepam for the first time there is no response to naloxone or dextrose okay the patient is given flumazenil and immediately ceases do you know what is flumazenil flumazenil is a benzodiazepine antagonist okay to reverse the benzodiazepine uh, toxicity effect what is the most likely cause of the seizure now after giving flumazenil patient is having seizure so what is the most likely cause here the answer is tricyclic antidepressant tca how did we come to this answer tricyclic antidepressant understand although flumazenil can cause seizure from reversing chronic benzodiazepine dependence but but this case specifically mentions that benzodiazepine was taken today only now understand then why did the seizure happen after giving flumazenil we are assuming that the patient of depression was probably on tricyclic plus uh, benzodiazepine now what happened was when tricyclic uh, was taken uh, tricyclic antidepressant can cause seizures okay but because of the benzodiazepine the tricyclic antidepressant induced seizure was suppressed because benzodiazepine being an anti epileptic now when we gave flumazenil we re re reversed the suppression of benzodiazepine hence the tricyclic induced seizure manifest understand tca causes seizure tca seizure was suppressed by benzodiazepine benzodiazepine suppression of seizure by tca is suppressed by flumazenil hence tca is the cause of seizure and tca and benzodiazepine co-ingestion is very common tricyclic antidepressant poisoning many time causes seizures so understand this is a very tricky uh, question that it's not the flumazenil because the history says immediately after giving flumazenil the patient seizes but Flumazenil removed the anti-epileptic effect of benzodiazepine, which was suppressing the seizure due to TC toxicity. So the cause of seizure is not benzodiazepine, is not flumazenil, is TC. Why not cocaine and opium? First of all, opiate withdrawal doesn't cause seizure. It's seen in opium intoxication, uh, and even cocaine toxicity causes seizure. Cocaine does withdrawal doesn't cause seizure. So the other options are very clearly ruled out. Now. what can be the next possible question on this particular topic what is the best initial test for the patient previously described suppose the same history they give you and they ask you what is the best initial test then the answer is urine toxicology electroencephalograph ecg head ct potassium answer is ecg why tca toxicity is rapidly detectable on ecg the ecg will show widening of the qrs complex that is torsidis deep pontus okay so torsid is deep bond test so ecg uh, is a good sign a good test for tca uh, toxicity detection now next possible question the ecg changes of tca toxicity best respond to this question has been asked previously in aims also the ecg changes of tca toxicity best respond to sodium bicarbonate so with this one question we have discussed Three important areas: TCA toxicity causing seizure, benzodiazepine reversing that toxicity, then flumazenil antagonizing benzodiazepine. So TCA toxicity manifests with seizure. TCA toxicity having a QRS prolongation, torsidis prepontus, and uh, then finally TCA toxicity responds to sodium bicarbonate. That was all about this question. Thank you.